Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video explains what to do if you've plugged in a USB stick into an OTG cable on your Fire TV stick and you've got this message that comes up here saying unable to read USB device. Now what that means is the USB stick that you've plugged into your Fire TV Sticks OTG cable is not formatted to the correct format for the Fire TV Stick. It's probably formatted to XFAT or NTFS, which is generally used on computers. So if you choose external storage or device storage, now what it's going to do is it's going to wipe the stick clean. You're going to lose any information on it. So if there's anything important on that stick, then go to do nothing and make sure that you take a backup copy of it elsewhere. Now, if you choose external storage, now what it's gonna do is it's gonna format the stick to FAT32, which means you can then store things on there. So you could plug it into your computer, put a film or a TV show on here, plug it back into the Fire TV stick, use something like VLC player, which will enable you to play the film or the TV show. Now, if you select device storage, now that will mean it will format it into a, I think it's a Linux style format. I think it's EXT4, something like that, which means that you can no longer use the USB stick in a computer as such, like a Windows computer. I think it can be used in a Mac or a Linux machine, but uh, device storage means if you want to, you can transfer over compatible apps onto the USB stick to basically free up space on your Fire TV stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna choose device storage there because I wanna free up some space. So I've selected device storage. There's nothing important to me on the USB stick. I can wipe it, that's no problem. So I select device storage and there you go, it gives you a screen there that basically says, are you sure? And it reaffirms all content on the USB drive will be erased and you won't be able to get it back. So if you're happy with that, push the right hand side of the ring on the remote control to highlight yes and then the middle button. And there you go, it's now formatting the USB drive to a format which can only be read on the Fire TV stick as such. It won't be read on a computer. So you'll plug it into a PC and uh, it'll just basically say that it's, it's not formatted. But like I say, in this format, it does mean that you can shift some apps across to the USB drive to free up space on the Fire TV stick. Now, not all apps can be shifted across some are sort of hard coded and designed so that they run directly off the Fire TV stick and not off of a, a USB drive. Unfortunately, there's not really much you can do about that. Now, the formatting of the drive will take some time, so just be patient with it. Obviously, the larger the USB drive is, the longer it's gonna to take to format it. I mean, the USB drive I'm using here is only a four gigabyte drive, so it's quite small. So it shouldn't really take that long, but if you've got a, a hard drive that you've plugged into it and it's a terabyte or 500 gigabytes, then it's gonna take some time. So just leave it in there, leave the, uh, the Fire TV stick. Don't do anything because if you stop it or pull it out, then you could end up corrupting the USB drive. I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it once the stick has formatted. And there we go, it's come up formatting complete. Now that took about five minutes on my uh, four gigabyte drive. So it says your USB drive has been formatted. You can now use this USB drive to transfer data to Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So press the middle button on the remote control and if we go across to the settings cog there and then down to applications, okay, middle button and go to manage installed applications. And there we can see I've got my external space there. So I can go into manage installed applications and then I find an application here like Total Commander, I go into it 
and there's an option there to move it to the USB storage to free up a bit of space. So all I do is highlight move to USB storage, middle button on the remote, and there you go, it says moving this app to USB drive, please wait, moving time will depend on the app, there you go, and it's quite quick that. If I go back and go into another app, so say if I go into this one here, TV Bro, that one, it hasn't got the option to move to USB storage, so unfortunately you can't move that app. It's been hard programmed to stay on the Fire TV stick. There's nothing you can do to get that across to the USB stick, I'm afraid. But you can tell which apps have been installed on the USB stick because you've got that little icon just there. And if you wanted to move an app back to the uh, the main storage, say for instance it was running too slow off of the uh, the USB stick, just highlight the app, okay, go down to move to internal storage, Highlight it, middle button on the remote control, and there you go, it moves it back to the internal disk. But stepping back a little way, so if I have uh, plugged my drive in and it says unable to read USB device and I want to use it as external storage, then I can highlight external storage, middle button on the remote control. Again, this will erase everything off of the uh, USB drive. So just need to confirm that we're happy to lose everything off of the drive. So highlight yes, middle button, and there you go, it's now format in the drive. And again, this bit might take a bit of time, but it is quicker in actual fact than, uh, than before. But again, depending on the, uh, the size of the drive, depends on how long it's going to take. So yes, formatting it in this mode doesn't allow us to move apps. So if I go into applications there, down into manage installed applications, there you go, it gives us the external space there. But if I go into Manage Installed Applications and go to Total Commander there, go into it, there you go, as you can see, I haven't got the option to move that to the external storage or USB storage. I can only use that storage now for basically putting on music and videos and then playing it through a, uh, an app such as VLC Player. But if I decided I wanted to use the USB stick as internal storage and not store movies, music and uh, TV shows on there, then what I can do is I can just go back and go back to the menu here, go to My Fire TV and then go down to USB drive and then go down to format into internal storage. Press the middle button on the remote control and that will wipe everything off of the stick and uh, make it usable as internal storage only on the Fire TV stick. So it won't be able to be used on a PC device anymore. It's just going to be for the uh, Fire TV stick. Although you can put it in a PC and format it back to XFAT, FAT32 or NTFS but you can't read anything on the stick in a PC. So there you go, that guide showed you what to do if you get that message come up on your screen saying that your USB stick is not recognized. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.